Greetings, special centurions, and welcome, fellow YouTubers, back to Oblivion. We are currently in the Imperial City Market District, having just looked around for magical items to buy. Unfortunately, we didn't find any, but we did come across a jewellery store, which I didn't know was around. Didn't know existed at all. Uh, so I want to pillage and plunder chat. I want to rob the jewellery store. That is the plan for getting us a shitload more cash fairly quickly. And cash is what we need. Everybody needs a copy of the Black Horse Courier. Shut up. No, we don't. Let's head to... Because we're vampired and it's daytime. Let's head to the arena. Let's just look for some repair hammers quickly while we're here. Do, 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 do. No, no repair hammers. Uh, I want to head to, I need to head to the arena basically because I need somewhere I can wait without causing problems for it to become nighttime. And then we're going to go on a gold spree. Gold hunting spree, I should say. So let's wait until... Uh, it's 11.32. Let's wait 13 hours for midnight. We'll go out. We'll steal the gold from the chest on outside the arena. We'll steal from the chest of the two guys fighting unarmed outside the arena. And we're going to steal from the jewelry store. Uh, which means we need to take off all our clothes because we're going to be sneak snonking. So, Tower of the Nine, Steel Helmet, Arena Heavy Raiment, the sword and the arrows need to go. Okay, he can't see me. Let's lock, uh, pick this lock for 500 gold. And a bit of XP as well. Easy peasy, 500 gold, just like that. Now we come out here, we come round here to where these guys were fighting. Oh, they're still fighting. You fuckers, go to sleep. Gold. Let's look for... Repair hammers. None. I think if you pillage this chest while there's no one here... Oh, you can't from here. You don't get anything. I think they have to be asleep. Yeah, you can't do it because they're, they're watching to start with. Let's... Oh, they're going to go to bed. They're going to bed. This is a perfect opportunity to feed as well. Maybe Knox is a guard right there. We'll feed in the jewelry store chat. Once we've robbed the jewelry store blind, we'll head up to the um head upstairs to the bedroom and uh rob uh not rob feed off of the jewel the jeweler oh, this lock seems a lot harder than the other one we just did there we go much better. Nice. Fortify hand to hand. 20 points on self. Uh, let's just read the books we just uh, pilfered. Uh, where are they? Manual of arms. We've already read manual of armor. 
We've already read Mixed Unit Tactics. We've already read. And wasn't there one more? Song of Horomir. Blade Skill. Nice. Okay. To the market district. Nope, that's not, not the right way. Where am I going? That's over here. And to the jewelers. Where's the jewelers? Not here. Must be down over here. Divine elegance. Where's the jewelry store? Red diamond jewelry. Oh. Okay, save it. Oops, wrong button. Let's get into the um, jewelry store. It's only got an average lock on it. That's hilarious. The jewelry store with only an average lock. And. We're in chat. Ah, oh, the display cases need a key, do they? We're gonna have to pickpocket the um the gut the the display kit, yeah. They, these are all very hard. Right, let's go upstairs, let's feed, and we'll see if we can pick his pocket as well. Shouldn't have done that. Should have fed. Should have uh, picked his pocket first. Filthy pickpocket! What did you take? Damn it! Come on, game. I should have picked his pocket first, because we have higher sneak when we are a higher level vampire. Uh, we might not have high enough, uh, s what's it called, skill for this. I think it's just luck. I can't remember. Filthy pick. Yeah, it might just be that we don't have high enough skill. Keep your finger. Nope, okay. Fuck it, let's, uh, let's just feed and uh, I will steal what I can from downstairs. But if anything needs a key... We'll have to avoid taking that stuff, unfortunately. My sneak snonking skills are just not high enough. Unfortunately. So that we can't get into. This we can. We're going to need more lockpicks, chat. Come on. 
Give it up, Lock. Give it up. Gotcha. Highwayman shirt. Okay. Copper amulet. Jade amulet. Jade necklace. Bronze amulet. Ah, oh, garbage. Counter very hard. Gotcha. God, there's not much in here. God, this is garbage. What about all these fucking things? Oh, they're different counters. I see. Easy peasy. Nice, that's more like it. Give me the money. Really? What about all this other stuff? All the other stuff I can see in there. Why can't I take it, chat? I want it. I want it all. Lucky they don't hear the lockpick snapping like they do in Kingdom Come Deliverance, otherwise we'd never get in here. They really missed a couple of tricks that uh, Bethesda did with this, especially on the hardest difficulty. They could have made it a lot more like um, Kingdom Come Deliverance and made it a lot harder to steal. If he wakes up, if you break too many lockpicks, that would have been such a better mechanic, mechanism for this game, rather than just being able to break an infinite number of lockpicks and just keep going. Because as long as you have, uh, as long as you're like a rank one Thieves Guild member, you can just keep buying 100 lockpicks from your fence. And that's pretty much enough to see you through the whole game until you find the skeleton key, which is a lockpick which never breaks. And then you can just, you can get into any lock regardless of your skill. Once you become practiced enough at this mini game, it's ridiculous. Also, time doesn't go down at all while you're here. While you're lockpicking, time doesn't decrease at all. Oh, this is just garbage. All of this stuff is garbage. Most I've got so far is like 100 gold. Do they not have anything worth taking? Uh, maybe the stuff that needs a key. Maybe the ones that need a key are better. Let's uh, go down to the basement. See if there's anything in the basement worth taking. Because this stuff's all trash. Into the basement, chat. Anything worth having? Gold amulet, that's more like it. Brass ring. Ooh, a lockpick. I'll take that. Thank you. Very useful. Let's get our night eye going. All of the gems. There is just nut mouth all here, chat. What garbage. I guess I can only assume or hope for the jeweler's sake that the um, 
the the stuff that you need a key for is significantly uh better for you know what i mean like Because he's not making much money here at all. They do look better. I'm going to give it one more go at um, picking his pocket chat. And if we fail, then uh, we won't bother. We could murder him, but I don't like the idea of that. Guard, guard. Yeah. Oh, well. Let's just get out of here. Well, that wasn't as anywhere near as lucrative as I was hoping it would be. <laughs> that was just trash. He has nothing in there. Nothing at all. What a load of garbage. Highwayman shirt doesn't even have anything, like, any buff on it. I was hoping you would have some kind of magic spell. That was really good, but it just doesn't have anything. Uh, right, let's go up to our fence in Bruma. That was a complete waste of time, chat. I do apologize. I didn't realize it would be so bad. You're better off stealing from uh, the Mages Guild or whatever. Stealing potions. Nope, he's not here. You're way better off stealing potions and stuff from the Mages Guild than you are stealing jewelry. Fuck me. That was not lucrative at all. Nice. Journeyman, lev journeyman level alteration spells. Speaking of Mages Guild, while we're here and I've got a decent chunk of change, I'm going to head to the Mages Guild and see if there's any more useful spells we can buy. Talk. Don't want to feed. Want to talk. I'm really. Yeah, I'm really tired. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we will see. I want to get as much money out of you as I possibly can. So, Shapoopy. I'm really tired. Yes. Yeah, my favorite. Forty-one percent. No. No, that's really bad. What, um... You? He's course. at 80. That means we can get at least 65. Yeah, Should be able to get 65 at least. Uh, we want to sell... He's only got 600 anyway. That's ridiculous. I can't make that deal. I can't make that deal. Alright, 62. I can't make that deal. You stingy cunt. 60. Can't make that deal. Please. You are absolutely just... You're a joke, mate. You're an absolute joke of offense. 56. I think I can move this item. Right. I think I... Oh, no. We don't want to sell the... Whatever. We'll give it away anyway, but we can get another one. That's a... I think I... Whew, what a load of trash. You... You got a... I think, I think, a good price for a, I think. Well, we've definitely sold more than enough we need now to uh, cover the Thieves Guild expenses. You drop. I think I can move this item for. A good price. That seems a fit. You gotta. Go. I think I can move this item for that you. Reminds that reminds me, price. I need to buy lockpicks. Got anything else? Hundred lockpicks, five hundred gold. I shouldn't sell it to you, so. Huh? Yeah, you should. Right. Right. Let's go to the Mages Guild. No. No coins for you. We'll check the armorer as well. See if he has any magic items for sale. Right. What time is it? Seven in the morning. So we need to wait a couple of hours. If I wait, though, I'll turn into a vampire. So let's just go to the armory first. See if they open slightly earlier. No. Hammer and axe, eh? Hammer and axe.
Let's go into the fighters guild, see if we've got any silver weapons I can pinch and sell while we're waiting, killing a couple of hours. I'd be better if you stopped talking to me. No, we've already taken all this stuff. We don't have anything better. It's just all iron. I suppose it would be a bit too easy to acquire good, powerful weapons if they were, if they had silver weapons just lying around in the fighters' guild. Okay, it's now open. What can I do? Any good magic what can items? I Long Sword of Frost. No, we've got a better version of that, so they're not paying for that, obviously. I think I sold that to him at some point, actually. Gauntlets of Gluttony. Heavy Armor, Fortify Strength, 15 points. But Drain Health, 30 points. Nah, we're not paying 8,000 for those. They're not that great. We can just cast a Feather Spell. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. Good Whoa, what I'm the fuck? Tolgan. Herald to Countess Narina Carvain. Get out of my Rover. face, Jesus. She requests your company at your earliest convenience. Oh, she does, does she? Countess Carvain would prefer if you speak to her in person. She also said to present you with this stipend as a taste of things to come. I like stipends. My lady holds court from eight in the morning until six in the evening each day. That would be the best time to see her. Okay. I've heard Edla Darkheart was once an assassin. Cool. So we've now got enough fame chat that we're starting to uh, bring royalty into um, to attract the curiosity of royalty. I've met a Nord named Tolgan. Apparently he's the herald of Countess Narina Carvin from here in Bruma. He presents me with a stripend of gold and a request from Lady Carvain to meet her at the castle. Not wanting to offend the Countess, I should accept the request and make my way there when she holds court. Yeah, so we're now um, attracting the likes of... Um, I've already looted this place, haven't I? Yeah. The likes of royalty, Countesses, for work chat. Right, do you have spells for me? What are you... No. Any rumors? Some say that trap. No. Yes, not be seeing you. Where's Jaskar and the other guy? Do you have any My spells? Name. You do. Only quality goods for sale. Beguiling touch, not strong enough. Do? Ease burden, not strong enough. Soul trap, we definitely want. Superior spell reflection. That could be good. We don't have enough money for it, really. Summon Daedroth. I'll take Ease Burden for the moment. Because it's cheap. Dominate Humanoid. That could be useful. That could be really useful. Uh, yeah, I'll buy it. Anyone else? You, any spells it's for me? Play. No. And where's the other guy? Oh, I dropped a heavy raiment here at some point. Talk. I definitely want to talk and not feed in front of everyone. It's my place. No. Okay. Well, whatever. We got some decent, a couple of extra decent spells there. Let's go talk to the lady countess. Yeah, damn right. How strong am I now, actually? I must be pretty strong. Must be pretty strong now, chat. 78. Yeah, I'm getting pretty strong now. Always a pleasure. Oh, that's the... Who is the... Oh, yeah, he's the guy who was investigating the, um... 
Ooh. It's a to see. Does she have anything to steal? She has something to read. <gasps> Don't tell me that I can open that with for free. Don't tell me this is the... Oh, no, it's just a ruined Akaviri shield. I was going to say, that better not be the shield that I spent fucking shitloads on. Ooh. You want to steal these? Definitely want to steal this stuff at Good. some point. I've heard much about your deeds from my people in Bruma. Yay, you're pretty cute. You are pretty cute, lady. Your yes, it did. I am very wet. Good point. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Countess Narina Cavain. I assume you've noticed all the Akaviri relics I'm displaying. Yes, I'm not going to steal all of them well, tonight. It's safe to say I'm a collector of sorts. I've invested a great deal of time and money acquiring these bits of ancient history. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to spend a I short bit of time to proclaim my collection the acquiring most them. In all Cyrodiil, perhaps even beyond. Except for one thing. What would that be? A particular relic has eluded me. It's eluded years. me, has it? It's eluded you. This piece of Akaviri antiquity would make my collection complete. Until I steal everything tonight. I'm of course referring to the Draconian Madstone. Oh my god. The stone is a fine bit of Akaviri craftsmanship. Worn like an amulet, this talisman is said to protect the wearer from poisons of any type. Is that it? Just poison? The Madstone appears as a snake coiled around and encircling itself. The eyes of the snake are supposed to be precious gems or some such. Through my sources, I've learned that the last reported location of the Madstone was the ruins at Pale Pass. Oh dear. It is pleasant and a bit melancholy to walk among the graves in Green Emperor Way and contemplate the dead who precede us. Is it? Okay, Pale Pass. Are you familiar with the history of Pale Pass? Oh god, here we go. History lesson inbound. Back at the end of the first era, Raiders from the continent of Akavir attempted to gain a foothold here in Tamriel. At that time, the Empire was broken into smaller factions. Raymond Cyrodiil decided to unify them and form an army to repel the Akaviri raiders. The force became known as the Army of Raymond. The two armies clashed in what's now northern Cyrodiil. The Akaviri were strong and well supplied. But their greatest error was marching through Morrowind on the way to their objective and dismissing the response it would garner from Vivek. They didn't count on Lord Vivek forming an alliance with the trident kings of the Dreg. From Morrowind, he struck at their rear flank. Not only did this make the Akaviri fight on two fronts, it also cut off access to reinforcements and supplies from the sea. Not quite. The army of Raymond knew that the organized Akaveri forces were commanded from a hidden post in the mountains. Rumors placed it in a snowy vale called Pale Pass. That's where Raymond focused his attention. As his forces fought their way across the Gerald Mountains, the Akaviri suddenly surrendered. It was assumed they were overwhelmed and gave up. The only strange part was that the command post and pale pass were never found. It was dismissed as a rumor and the army of Raymond celebrated. It's come to my attention that the post did exist and it happens to be the last reported location of the draconian madstone. How convenient. If you retrieve the draconian madstone for me, I'll be happy to compensate you. By rewarding you with another Akaviri artifact. Are you game? I am game. I'm all about game. I had a feeling you'd accept. I'm gaming you right now, lady. Then let me tell you how you're going to find the Madstone. Oh, for God, you haven't already? I've come into the possession of a diary written by an Akaviri messenger. I suspect that the text within can lead you to the ruins. Here's a translation of the passages we could still read. It was quite damaged. I've also included a rough map that was drawn in the diary as well. I'm also providing you with a unique key that was supposedly found with the diary. I'm assuming it will prove useful when you arrive at the site. I paid several scouts to try and find the ruins at Pale Pass before I hired you. 
they were only able to locate the first of a series of landmarks. Oh. These landmarks are mentioned within the diary. The one referred to as Dragon Claw Rock has been located. I'll mark it on your map. Okay, so you've got the first place. The rest is up to you. My scouts reported bitter cold and dangerous creatures in the area, so they couldn't proceed. Be cautious and return home soon. Good luck. The messenger's diary will make a nice companion to the mad stone in my collection. The mad stone awaits. Okay. May the free of danger. So another she talked about bitter cold. Oh, it's all the way up there, yeah, I remember. We're not going to be able to do that yet, chat. It's guided by, like, ogres and trolls and things like that. It's way too difficult. We need to be much stronger. Um, she talked about it there being bitter cold. And that's another trick I feel like a uh, Bethesda missed. What time is it? It's only 9 in the morning. I want to steal this stuff. Yeah, another trick that Bethesda missed was, like, having cold and water and... Stuff like that affecting your character, like temperature affecting your character. Just open this. Let's just save it quickly. Like they could have had up being in the cold mountains make your make if you're cold. Basically, being up in the mountains really, really fucking cold, and you have to buy thermal gear and equip thermal gear in order to counteract the cold. Oh, the display case is mysteriously opened by itself. Oh, they're not actually worth anything. They're just... Whatever. Don't mind me. Okay, so... There's three swords there that aren't worth shit. Yeah, look at the muscles on me. Opening this doesn't count as stealing. Look, it's not red. So we can pick the lock in front of her and she won't give a damn. Oh, that's the messenger's diary. I see. No, I'm not going to take it. Don't worry. I was just seeing what was in there. I needed a closer look. Right, so there's nothing here for me to loot. I was going to wait till night time and loot the place, but there's, there's really nothing for me to steal. So let's carry on with what we're doing. We can fast travel because we're not at second stage vampirism yet. Um, I say we go down to Skingrad and hand in the next level of paranoia. What time is it? Fucking five in the evening. Good. We'll hand in the next and final level of um, paranoia. I do also want to go to the Mages Guild and buy more spells. Go ahead. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Nope, not from you. I think they all have pretty much the same spells, although one of them around here has a really useful collection of really powerful spells. Can't remember who it is. What do you is it you? No. You too. It might be you. Pleasure to speak. Can I interest you in some of my ways? Yeah, it's this guy. No, it's not. Never mind. Hello, lady. What? Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. No, these are all destruction spells. We don't need those yet. Don't have the magic or the uh, level, skill level to do any of those yet, so whatever. I'm 
I'm supposed to be heading to the chapel. It's over here. Fuck's sake. We'll check the chapel as well for any restoration, any healing spells we can get that are useful. Get rid of any afflictions. Blessings up. Okay. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Dismiss undead could be very useful. We're gonna buy that. Greater convalescence. Superior convalescence. Heal legendary wounds, you're probably going to want at some point. At the moment we want heal greater wounds. How can, you, how can you cure paralysis? Surely you're paralyzed. Oh, it's on touch. It's someone else you can cure paralysis on. That's useful. We'll buy that. Uh, superior convalescence. Yeah, we'll buy that. I'm well, there goes all my money, chat. People are subdued. There goes all my money again. Hopefully, Glathir here can help deal with that. Right, let's wait. We'll wait till we become a vampire again, a higher level vampire. But whatever, we're only waiting like four hours. That's fine. And it will be night as well, which means we can still fast travel. Oh, we didn't become a vampire. Nice. We must have just fed within the last 24 hours. Wait here for Glath there, or whatever his name is. Crazy face. He meets at midnight, so he should be on his way. I don't want to wait any longer because I, I might become a vampire, a higher level vampire, which we don't want. Come on, you crazy motherfucker, where are you? Is there a bridge I can stand under to make jumping quicker? What is acrobatics? Is it endurance or... I think it's strength, isn't it? Speed. We don't have very many that are endurance. Armorer's endurance, heavy armor's endurance, and block is endurance. Yeah, heavy armor, block, and then yeah, it's really hard to get your endurance up in this game. Right here he is. Come on, then, crazy. What have you got to say for yourself? So, and so it all falls into place. Yes, yes, it all makes sense. Now. I'm sure it does, Glathir. Here, this is your last task. Is it really? Here's the gold, as promised. I always pay my debts, and then some. Do the last task in that note, and I will pay you much, much more. Right, 200 gold. 
Now we can go tell a guard that he's being crazy and wants us to murder people. Which is what the task is that he's assigned to us. Uh, he dies, we take his key and then go get the rest of his stash of gold. If I can just find a guard somewhere. Who's that? That's just the edge of the well. Here's a guard. Is there a problem? Glaf is crazy. You want to tell me about that nutcase? Yes, he's insane. He needs to be arrested. He thinks there's a plot against really? him. He's getting worse then. Thank yeah, okay. You have some Why? What's he done? Damn. He's finally gone completely bonkers. Thanks for the tip. Now stand aside and let the guard <laughs> It's so funny. He says that with such satisfaction. He's like, ah, yeah, time to kick some ass. Stand aside and let the guard do their work. And he just comes running up. Oh, shit, we need to catch up. We're really slow. I want to see him kill Glath there. I want to see him kill Glath there. And we're really far behind now. I'm not going to see him. He is fucking quick for an armored guard. <laughs> oh, they're running around that way. <laughs> he's, he's running for it. Get him, boys. Get him. Sick him. Oh, arrow in the butt. Flat. I'll take two silver arrows and his key and his gold and his lockpicks. Thank you. Was that it? Did paranoia end? Yeah, it finished without telling me. That's weird. Okay, whatever. Go into Glaphir's house, look around a bit, take the 800 gold that's in there, lovely, and see if there's anything worth stealing and selling. Probably not, really. Don't remember there being anything worth having in here. But we'll check. Check nonetheless. Those are all his crazy notes about everyone being crazy. There's loads of ingredients here which we could make into alchemy potions, but I just don't have the time. I don't care. It's a good way of making money at the start of the game, but after that it just falls off compared to like finding fame, uh, powerful equipment like elven weapons and things. You get so much more for just finding... Orcish and Elven and stuff like that weapons. Cupboard's locked. It's very hard. So let's get in there and see what's up. Don't think there's much in here though, to be honest. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff we can steal and sell. Fine iron. It's not really worth it, to be honest. None of it's silver. Well, say we want. Whoops. Say what you want about the guy, but he was minted. Let's put the scales back. He was pretty rich. He had a lot of chests sitting around. 
very strange. Lots of locked chests as well. Ooh, steel warhammer, I'll take that. Only an iron battle axe. Garbage. Okay. Take the steel battle axe. Well, actually, since we're stealing, we're going to have to go up to Bruma anyway to uh, sell everything that's stolen. We might as well take all these weapons and just go to Bruma now. Back to Bruma chat. Back to Bruma. Anything here worth... Nope. Go back up to Bruma, sell it all quickly, and then we'll carry on with our adventuring. Me children. Me children are starving. Yar. So I started speaking like a pirate to try and busk on the streets and get some money through the tourist industry. But it ain't be working too well for me, yarr. I'm really... For you, of course. 71, so let's use the... Charm and throwing presents. I'm really so yeah, now he should be cut. haggling at something higher. What's his? For you, 88. Yeah, yeah, whatever. My favorite cut. Haggle it at 60, I reckon. At 88. I can't make that you are either. such a tight fisted prick. 58. I can't make that deal. Even. You are so tight fisted. There you go. You got a great a fine. I think I can move this item. I think I can move this item for you at that price. Good. Got anything else? Get on it. Right. What do we want to do now? I think now would be a good time to come down to these caves. I want to carry on exploring some of the places we've already discovered but not been th been through and cleared. Unfortunately, unlike Skyrim, it doesn't tell you when you've cleared a cave. So eventually it becomes really difficult to remember where you've discovered but haven't been into and where you've been in through and covered and cleared. So you need to clear them as you discover them. Uh, we've still got they on to do down here, but we'll do that one last because I reckon it's going to be quite tough. So we're going to go to Wellspring Cave first uh, and start clearing that. See what's going on there. Oops, wrong equipment set. What knows I'm here? Something knows oh, an Imperial Watchman. Hello. That's useful. That means if there's anything particularly dangerous in there that we can't fight, we can run out. Because there's a guardsman. Don't see anything at the moment. Oh, there is something down here, though. So there is a, a bed here. So there'll be enemies around. I see tables and chairs. What the fuck? Where are you? Is this a Dark Brotherhood? This must be a Dark Brotherhood shrine. This must be a mission later. I can only assume this is a mission later because... There's no one in here. There's equipment and stuff, but there's nothing here. There's no enemies to fight. 
Am I supposed to come... Is this... Oh, I think this is the... Um, yeah, I think I'm in the... This is the cave you come to when you have to get your major stuff sorted. And it's filled with necromancers at this point. It's been overrun and filled with necromancers. I'm fairly certain at any rate. So um, there's nothing here for you but yet, basically. So that's fine. Uh, there's the legionary. We will go and visit this well and then go to the fortress next door. Legionary is still nearby if we need him. If we get into trouble, he can come running. Legionary, help, help. Right, guys, this feels like a really good natural stopping point rather than getting into this whole new area before, uh, just, before the mish just before the episode ends. I think I'm just going to end things there for now and pick up where we left off tomorrow morning. Oh, thank you so much for hanging out today, guys. I do hugely appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying playing. I'm going to be back tomorrow morning with another episode of Oblivion. Hopefully, I will see you all there for that, guys. If not, I'll try and catch you in some other content I produce. I try and make content every single day now. So, so I'll wait till next time.